Hey everybody. So I was scrolling on Facebook the other day and I come across an article from PC Mag or PC Magazine, however you want to call it. Absolutely roasting Microsoft over a big Windows 10 upgrade problem. In other words, people are not upgrading in mass to Windows 11 like Microsoft had hoped. So the thing is, the way the article words it, is in 2025 there will still be a billion PCs running Windows 10 a billion PCs running an operating system that will no longer be supported what's Microsoft gonna do are they gonna extend the uh, support for Windows 10 who knows it's a possibility I mean Microsoft did extend support for Windows XP and of course Windows XP was a very popular operating system and well the operating system that succeeded it uh, Windows Vista did not have such a good track record I mean Windows Vista was partially the reason why Windows XP uh, received extended support I mean Microsoft released a new service pack for Windows XP after Windows Vista was released but of course we're talking about Windows 10 and Windows 11 here so there are two in my opinion two big reasons why Windows 11 is not receiving uh, upgrades to in mass like Windows 10 did. Well, first and foremost, we have to thank the Microsoft Elite Class Minimum System Requirements on Windows 11. Yes, that's my nickname for the Windows 11 Minimum System Requirements. And I call them the Elite Class System Requirements, and it's because it's like Microsoft purposely inflated the system requirements that only the most elite class of computers back in 2021 could run the OS. And I mean computers that were less than four years old or less than three years old at that time. If your computer was made in 2018, there's a chance that you could not upgrade to Windows 11 without workarounds, of course. But that's the thing. Windows 11, the, the requirements for Windows 11 are so ridiculously high that many people are saying, okay, well I just won't upgrade and I'll stick with Windows 10. And a lot of people I mean, when they get that message in Windows Update saying this PC does not meet the minimum system requirements on Windows 11, they're like, big deal. I'm going to stick with Windows 10. And they may not know what they're missing out on with Windows 11. But then again, Windows 11, um, there are some things about Windows 11 that many people do not like and they prefer Windows 10, and I totally understand that. Again, the first reason would be those elite class system requirements, as I call them. And the other reason would be simply that Windows 10, in some regards, is just simply better. I mean, I'll say this. I have, of course, jumped onto the Windows 11 bandwagon in full force, I guess we could say, even though only one of my computers actually meets the Elite Class System requirements. The rest of my systems, including the Plexi, which is running in the background, and, of course, the Mintyra Lux. But, yeah, um... Microsoft, they're going to have to figure something out with Windows 11. When it comes to 2025, are they seriously going to end support for Windows 10? If they do, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all because there's going to be a lot of computers out there that are not receiving um, security updates, and that could be a big, big problem for Microsoft. I think, personally, Microsoft, they went a little too far with the minimum requirements for Windows 11, they stated the reason why they set the requirements so high was for security purposes. They wanted to ensure that Windows 11 was only installed on computers with modern enough CPUs that had the more modern um, security uh, features built in. And I think as a result of setting those requirements so high, many people are going to stick with Windows 10, and if Microsoft quits support for Windows 10, then Microsoft's going to have a much, much, much bigger issue at hand as far as security is concerned. I mean, you're going to have a lot of computers out there running an OS that's no longer supported. I mean, look how long it took for Windows 7 to, to uh, your friends you just share to finally die down. I mean, people were sticking with Windows 7 for years after its support ended back in 2020. And what I say, can't really blame them. Windows 7 was a really nice operating system. 
In my opinion, Windows 7 was the last good version of Windows. I mean, if Microsoft does not turn themselves around and make an operating system that's worth a crap, I mean, Windows 7 will go down as the last good version of Microsoft Windows. It will go down as the last good version before the downfall of Microsoft Windows. Because, let's face it, Windows 8 was a total disaster. I mean, who wants to turn their computer into a smartphone? A lot of people I don't think want to use their computer like to use their phone. Windows 10... Windows 10 was like a breath of fresh air after the disaster of Windows 8. I mean, Windows 10, although it incorporated some stuff from Windows 8, it brought in all the it, it brought in the good features and some of the bad features from Windows 8. It was much much better, and although it still is nowhere near as good as Windows 7, Windows 10 is regarded as the current as I'd say the current Windows XP. You think about it, Windows 10 versus Windows 11. Windows 10 tends to run a little faster, especially on older hardware. So even though your old computer doesn't meet the Microsoft Elite Class requirements Windows 11, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Because Windows 10 will probably run better on your system anyway. But then again, 2025, it's. If my, again, if Microsoft ends support for Windows 10 in 2025, it's not going to be good. Not going to be good at all. Windows 11, it is a pretty operating system. It does look nice. But there are some things that they got rid of. Like, for example, um, being able to right click on your taskbar and get a lot of options. <laughs> they, they got rid of that. They got rid of the ability to lock your taskbar on you know, the left and the right or top of your screen. And now when you click on the clock and you get your notifications in your calendar, you no longer receive the clock in minutes, you know, hours, minutes, and seconds. Now there is a workaround to get hours, minutes, and seconds on your taskbar clock. But personally, I prefer just be able to click on the clock, in the, or the, the date in the clock, and get a full counting clock in my notifications panel. I mean, that's just me. So, Windows 10 is still regarded as a very popular operating system. Again, for two reasons. Number one, the elite class system requirements of Windows 11. And number two, the simple fact that Windows 10, in many regards, is a cleaner OS. It's just, in many regards, better than Windows 11. I mean, it really boils down to what you want, because personally, I do like Windows 11, but there are good reasons still to stick with Windows 10. So, kind of random video, but it's something I did want to talk about, and of course, I'll put a link in the description to that PC Mag article if you want to read it. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody! Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.